Welcome students to class 5. Today we will begin lesson 4 factors and multiples session 4.1. If you are new to the channel you can go to the channel page and see the previous lessons. In today's video we will cover factors, divisibility rules and multiples. Let us begin with factors. We have already studied addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. In all these mathematical operations we needed two numbers. Supposing we were given 2 and 3, we could add 2 plus 3 or we could subtract them, multiply them and do whatever but we needed two numbers. However, factorization needs only one number. You can even think of factorization as unmultiplying. In multiplication, if 2 and 3 were given, we could multiply 2 and 3 and give the answer as 6. However, with factors, we would be given one number 6 and we had to find out how we would write it in the form of multiplication. 6 can be written as 2 into 3. So, 2 and 3 are factors of 6. Now let us take a number 10 and try to find all its factors. So 10 can be written as multiplication of which two numbers? It can be written as 2 into 5. But is this the only way to write 10? We can also write 10 as 1 into 10. Now which of the two is correct? Both are correct. Don't get confused. You are used to having one correct answer in maths. In factors, you can have more than one correct answer. So 2 and 5 are also factors of 10 and 1 and 10 are also factors of 10. Factors are part of multiplication problem and factoring is figuring out what those parts are. Let us try with factors of 24. Let us look at this table and find the numbers that can be multiplied to get the answer as 24. We see a 24 here. This 24 is product of 3 and 8. So 3 into 8 is equal to 24. 3 and 8 will be the factors of 24. I am sure many of you would have spotted that there are more 24s in this sheet. 3 8 za is 24. 8 3 za is also 24. There is another 24 here. This is 4 6 za. So 4 and 6 become the factor. And 6 4 za is also 24. Thus we come to the conclusion that so far 3 8 4 and 6 are the factors of 24. This means that these numbers can divide evenly with 24. That is without leaving a remainder. Let us understand what I exactly mean by this statement. If we divide 24 by 3, we get the quotient as 8 and the remainder as 0. So basically, when we divide a number by its factor, we get no remainder. That is 0 remainder left. Now let's take another number. When we divide 7, it goes 3 times. 7 3s are 21 and we get 3 as remainder. So here we are getting a remainder of 3. So 7 is not a factor of 24. Now, to figure out which all numbers are factors of 24, we will need to know the divisibility rules. Divisibility rules will help us identify the numbers that divide evenly and give us 0 remainder. Rules of divisibility. First rule, rule of divisibility by 2. If we have to check whether a number is divisible by 2 or not, we will check if the digit in one's place is divisible by 2. If it is, that means the number is divisible by 2. Example, 64. 64 has 4 in the one's place. 4 is divisible by 2. That means entire 64 is divisible. 76. 76 has 6 in the 1's place. 6 is also divisible by 2. So the entire number is divisible by 2. 84 has 4 in the 1's place. 4 is divisible by 2. 
so 84 is also divisible by 2. In 100, we take the 1's place which is 0. 0 is also divisible by 2. That means the entire number 100 is divisible by 2. So basically, the last digits should either be 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. If the 1's place is occupied by any of these digits, then the entire number will be divisible by 2. Rule of divisibility by 3. If the sum of digits of the number is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. Let us take the example. First one, 84. Sum of digits of 84 will be 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. And 12 is divisible by 3. If you have a doubt, you can do 1 plus 2 which is 3. 3 is divisible by 3. So 84 is going to be divisible by 3. Next number we have 147. So 1 plus 4 plus 7. This again gives us 12. We know 12 is divisible by 3. So 147 is also divisible by 3. Rule of divisibility by 4. If the number formed by last two digits on the extreme right is divisible by 4, then the number is divisible by 4. Now look at the example 616 and 508. So first we will take 616. Last two digits are 1 and 616. 16 is divisible by 4 because 4 4 are 16. Therefore 616 is divisible by 4. In the next example we have 508. 0 8 is there in the last two digits. 0, 8 is divisible by 4. That is basically 4, 2 is 8. Therefore, 508 is also divisible by 4. Next comes the rule of divisibility by 5. If it has 0 or 5 in its 1's place, that means the last digit on the right should be either 0 or 5. Then the number is said to be divisible by 5. Here, by looking at the number only, you can see 20 has 0 in 1's place. That means it is going to be divisible. 365 has 5 in the 1's place. Therefore, it will be divisible by 5. Next comes rule of divisibility by 6. If it is divisible by both 2 and 3, that means the number has to be divisible by 2. The number has to be divisible by 3. Then it is going to be divisible by 6. Let us just test this rule. Let us look at the table of 2, table of 3. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 and table of 3 we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So first number that is common is 6 and 6. After that the next number which occurs in both the tables is 12 and 12. Then the next one that is common in both tables is 18. And now if you see the table of 6, you see 6, 12 and 18. So these are the numbers that are common in the table of 2 and 3. So for any number to be divisible by 6, you will first check the divisibility rule by 2 and then check whether it is divisible by 3. If the number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then the number is going to be divisible by 6. Now we don't have a rule to check the divisibility by 7. So we go directly to the rule of divisibility by 8. If the number formed by the last three digits on its extreme right is divisible by 8, then the number is said to be divisible by 8. Example 2016 and 9424. Let us take the first example. Last three digits are 016 and 016 is basically 16. 16 is divisible by 8. 8 twos are 16. So the number 2016 is going to be divisible by 8. Similarly, I want you to check for 9424. So for this you will divide 424 by 8. If the remainder is 0, it will imply that 9424 is also divisible by 8. Please check and let me know in the comment section. Rule of divisibility by 9. This is very similar to the rule of divisibility by 3. If the sum of digits of the number is divisible by 9. Let us take the example 612. Here we will add the digits 6 plus 1 plus 2. That gives us 
9. 9 is divisible by 9. So, the number 612 is going to be divisible by 9. Now, the second one. 5, 6, 0, 8, 8. Here, 5 plus 6 plus 0 plus 8 plus 8. Now, the sum of digits is 27. We know 27 is divisible by 9 because 9 threes are 27. And if you have a doubt, you can again further add 2 and 7. 2 and 7 gives us 9. So, the number 56088 is also divisible by 9. Rule of divisibility by 10. This is similar to the rule of divisibility by 5. If it has 0 in its 1's place. In 5, we had 0 and 5. Here, only 0 is acceptable. So, the numbers given as example are 3, 4, 0, 0. This has 0 in the 1's place. That means this number is divisible by 10. 6, 5, 9, 0. This also has a 0 in the end. That means the number is divisible by 10. This brings us to the end of divisibility rules. Do revise these divisibility rules. They are very important. You need to have them on your fingertips. Only then will you be able to check for factors. Now back to factors, properties of factors. 1 is a factor of every number because 1 divides every number exactly. 1 is the smallest factor of any number. A number is a factor of itself because every non-zero number divides itself exactly. The number is the greatest factor of itself. If you remember, for 10 we had written 1 into 10. So 1 is also a factor of 10 and 10 is also a factor of 10. A factor of a number is less than or equal to a number. Since the number itself is the greatest factor, factors of a number are either going to be equal to that number or less than that number. Factors can never be greater than the number. Every number other than 1 has at least 2 factors. So 1 is the only number which has 1 factor because 1 is a factor of every number and the number itself is a factor of every number. So for only number 1, both are same. So 1 is the only number with 1 factor. Every non-zero number is a factor of 0. So 0 is an exception to this case where we say all factors are less than the number. So, 0 is the exception to that, okay? Now, getting back to the factors of 24. Till now, the factors found are 3, 8, 4 and 6. To find the rest of the factors, we will use divisibility rules. Now, there are a lot of numbers between the smallest factor 1 and the greatest factor 24. We will not be checking for all the numbers. We only have to check up till the half. Half of 24 is 12. So we will check divisibility from 1 to 12. Now we already know 3, 4, 6 and 8 are divisible by 24. 1 is the smallest factor of every number. Since 1 into 24 is equal to 24. Thus both 1 and 24 are factors of 24. We have added 24 also to the list and circled 1. 2 is also completely divisible by 24. Divisibility rule, 4 is there at the 1's place, 4 is divisible by 2, therefore 24 is also going to be divisible by 2. 2 into 12 is equal to 24, so we will circle both 2 and 12. Now let us check for 5. The divisibility rule of 5 says the last digit should be either 0 or 5. Here we have 4. So, 24 is not divisible by 5. We just checked for 7. 24 is not divisible by 7 because it was leaving a remainder of 3. Now, let us check for 9. For 9, we had to add the digits. 2 plus 4. That gives us 6. 6 is not divisible by 9. Therefore, 24 is not divisible by 9. Then comes 10. Last digit should be 0. Here we have 4. So, 10 is also not a factor. 11. 11 there is a rule but we haven't discussed that rule yet. So we will just multiply 11. We know the table of 11. 11 ones are 11. 11 twos are 22. 11 threes are 33. So 24 comes in between 22 and 33. Therefore 24 does not come in the table of 11. 11 is also not a factor. So now we have got the list of all the factors of 24. 
Thus, the factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. Multiples. Now, let us look at the table of 4. 4 ones are 4. That is, first multiple of 4 is 4. 4 twos are 8. Second multiple of 4 is 8. 4 threes are 12. Third multiple of 4 is 12. 4 fours are 16. Fourth multiple of 4 is 16. 4 fives are 20. Fifth multiple of 4 is 20. 4 six are 24. That is, sixth multiple of 4 is 24. Now let us stop at this. 4 into 6 is equal to 24. Now there are different ways of representing this one particular line that is 4 multiplied by 6 is equal to 24. In terms of factors we say 4 and 6 are factors of 24. In terms of multiples we will say 24 is the multiple of 4, 24 is a multiple of 6. Or we could write it in one sentence 24 is a multiple of 4 and 6. We can also write 24 is the 6th multiple of 4. If you see here the table 4 6 are. So 6th multiple of 4 is 24 or 4th multiple of 6. If we write 6 into 4 then we say 4th multiple of 6 is 24. Now let's see this. So this 3 6 9 12 15 are multiples of 3. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15. So this is how you will generate multiples of a number. Let us look at the properties of multiple. Every number is a multiple of 1. Every number is a multiple of itself and is the smallest multiple of that number. Example of 3. 3 is the number itself and it is the smallest multiple of itself. Every multiple of a number is greater than or equal to that number. Again back to the example of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12. So 3 was the number and 3 is the smallest number and all the other multiples of 3 are greater than that. So multiple of a number are either equal to that number that is the first number when you multiply it by 1 you get the number which is equal to that number and then all the other numbers will be greater than that number. We can find as many multiples of a number as we want. There is no end to it. You can keep on multiplying and keep on finding as many multiples as you want. Now this brings us to the end of the session. I have not attached a worksheet in this session. I only have one task for you. I want you to revise all the divisibility rules and be clear on the concept of factors and multiples. Until we meet again, stay happy and keep learning.